Hello everyone and welcome back to our demo news video today we have probably the biggest update in 2024 in KDMO we have the new level expansion up to level 170 we have new maps and a whole bunch of stuff so let's get started starting off with a level increase yeah we got a level increase to 170 and from what I've seen they did not increase the levels of other dungeons so things like Royal Base Hard Mode, Colosseum, Solomon Dungeon all of them are still level 140 which means this greatly reduces the hit requirement so you will probably no longer need the 12-13k hit that you need in some of the hard in the end game dungeons and also in terms of crit requirement also gonna be a bit lower but still gonna be like 300 percent hits still gonna be needed but because you don't you no longer need hit rate you can easily obtain that without having to worry about your hit rate which is good so this is huge this will make a lot of dungeons more accessible and yeah we also get the new maps but before that we also have some changes to the amount of xp gained by level now from what i understand the amount of xp you get will now be depending on the level of the monster you fight or the amount of the different levels so if you are finding a monster that is the same level as you you, you get 100 percent of the xp but if they are lower level than you you get less xp so if they are up to four levels lower than you you get only 90 percent of the xp upwards of only 10 percent so if you are finding a mob that below you by 25 levels you get only 10 percent of the xp so this this part does look like a nerf unfortunately but it also works the other way around if you are fighting mobs that are higher level than you so if you are fighting a mob that's 25 levels higher than you you get basically double the xp so this part is nice but unfortunately it's capped at 30 if you are fighting a mob that's 30 levels higher than your digimon you get 0% xp so this this is unfortunate i am not sure if it's above or a nerf yet like this part is above this part is a nerf this is a nerf so if you are gonna be worrying about lower level i'm gonna assume that you can reach the lower level easier by doing quests they give like 95 million xp per quest in the new map so leveling in the, role in the lower levels shouldn't be that much of a problem and because we will eventually get level 170 digimons this part should not be that much of a problem too so we'll see i will wait until this is risen in a demo where i can actually play and test it so we'll see if that's a buff or a nerf and of course that will probably need a new level up guide so watch out for that as for the new maps we have two new maps the kaiser's domain and kaiser's realm and this is the normal field map and the dungeon kaiser's realm wilderness so yeah it is adventure zero two maps and the dungeon i believe is a metal gray one or black metal gray one maps from that one episode so we're not getting the full digimon kaiser arc yet so it's it's way before camera mode and there's no dark towers here so it's not it's not lore accurate unfortunately so yeah and the boss as far as i know is level 150 so it should not be that hard to do everyone should be able to do them if you get a digimon that above 160 assuming it have like high hit requirement that will no longer be a problem if you reach above 150 and yeah the dungeon you can see here it tells us that it's 150 and we the reward give you some things that we don't know what it does yet and 15 terra so it'll have a 100 percent chance to give everyone 15 terra per run so i'm looking at here and i don't know if they said this is a daily quest or not so i'm, I'm not sure if it's actually daily because if it's daily then that's 30 terra per day so that's crazy but yeah the reward gives you evil energy and piece of equipment data and all these items can be used to craft the new equipment sets so this is a little bit interesting because we have a new equipment but also comes with a new equipment strengthening feature so this allow you to basically blast your equipment so you can get it up to plus 15 on your equipment and if you look at like the max level it can give you like 15 percent crit rate 40 percent crit damage and another 10 percent crit rate so that's like 20 percent crit rate just like that from a single equipment we have the hair we have the jewelry gives you hit rate and attack power now this is one of the three sets we have the power of courage set the light of hoop set and the heat of love set and i'm gonna assume we're gonna get the other crests as well like one for knowledge and friendship and all the other uh crests or i guess dgx whatever they're called in digimon adventure zero two maybe we'll get them in different maps but looking at the stats looks pretty good the, obtain the drop equipment by hunting some field monsters in the power digital area so these can drop on the ground so obviously the goal would be to get them like at least to five to get the 10 percent critical damage or i guess i guess this would be nice like to 10 should be a good goal but from what i've seen it seems to be a bit hard because when you upgrade your equipment it can fail and can be destroyed so and we have like backup discs for equipment a special backup discs but i'm not sure how to obtain it you can get one from the paid season pass but that's it so i'm not sure what the other sources we can get it from and looking at the other 
equipment as well. Like this one, even at zero, gives you 500 hit rate. So this is already huge. You can upgrade it, give you upwards of 2000 hit rate and additional 1500. So this alone gives you 3500 hit rate. This is absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, this also makes me a bit concerned about the upcoming dungeons. Like we will eventually get a 170 dungeon that needs 30k hit rate or something. I mean, looking at the stats. Okay, maybe not 30k hit rate, but like 20k hit rate. Looking at how One Piece literally gives you 3,500 hit rate. So that's crazy. And now this one gives you health and defense and more HP. This one gives you DS and skill damage. I mean, 30% skill damage is not bad at all. This one gives you attack speed, but only 3%. And this one is a bit, this is bad. It starts at 20% and can be upgraded to the normal 30%, which we already have at like normal equipment. And then this gives you upwards of 2000% XP, which is obviously insane for leveling. And the new drop equipment stats seems to give similar stats, but even more like, the, bro, this one gives you 45% hit uh, crit rate. So these are the ones that dropped on the ground at, at level zero gives you 1000 hit rate. Now we don't know the chance of the drop, how the chance is to get the baseline equipment because like something like this, even at baseline, it gives you 1000 hit rate. Like without any upgrades, it's just free 1000 hit rate. So this is insane. We also have some other item that gives the same stats, no skill damage, 40% skill damage. This is kind of insane right now, 5% attack speed. It's like to be the various stats, so this is also insane. And the shoes, this, this one starts at 30%, so this seems to be better than the one that's crafted from the dungeon. And gives you 3000% XP. So looking at it, these stats are insane. And then we have the common items for creating equipment. And this is basically the equipment that you can craft. The name of it is the power of courage. And we have the equipment breakdown. So this is basically you can take the equipment that you get and craft it into something else. I'm not sure what that means. But if you get a, I guess get a duplicate, you can use it to the, to get the decomposition box. And it can give you other equipment items. So the piece of equipment that I think this is used to upgrade your equipment. As far as I understand, so it's a, it's a whole system that you'll have to do the new maps to get. Obviously, we'll understand it better when it's in, in a demo. And we also have the new equipment set. You get additional stats if you have the same equipment of the same set. So we have the three sets added, and you can see the additional stats. So when you have, when you are wearing four items of the same set, so basically set bonus. The power of courage. Uh, when you do normal attack, it's uh, basically so it works like dick buffs in a way. When you attack something you have a 30% chance to activate it which gives you 20% crit rate 20% crit damage and 1000 hit rate now the weird part here is that it didn't say the duration like how long does that last or is it like permanent do I just open the game hit any random mob and now I have the buff active at all times so they didn't write the duration which is important we have the chance 30% chance to proc but that it what's the duration so that's a bit unfortunate that i didn't say the duration and at six uh sets if you are winning all basically everything of the same set additional effects that have five percent attack speed 30 percent critical damage and 2000 attacks so this is not insane except the attack speed this one also is this one is always active and gives you 1000 percent xb 3k hb and 1500 hit rate so yeah the, the hit rate the hit rate numbers and the critical rate numbers is gonna be just insane in this update uh, and this is also active this one gave uh, 30 percent chance when you defeat a monster gives you more xb so this basically is a, is a leveling set i would say 70 percent skill damage and attack so this is 3k attack dude this this effects are weird like, dude, this this sound is so busted, by the way. So, 40% skill damage, 4,500 HP, and skill damage reduction. So, this is damage reduction on skills. So, basically, defense, but works on the skills. Or, I guess, defense, but only for skills. So, this is, this is absolutely insane. 50% uh, skill damage when you have the four pieces, when you use a skill. We have the six pieces. And then we have additional 30%. Dude, like, wearing the love heart set. Gives you 20% damage reduction plus another 30. This just gives you 50% damage reduction. So it's it's absolutely insane. Some of these sets, man, are absolutely busted. So if these sets are not hard to obtain, then everyone will be able to do plural base hard mode and Solomon dungeon because uh, these these stats are huge. Like the, the the damage reduction already gives you enough survivability to survive to Solomon with a triple S plus. I mean you already could do that, but I guess it lowers the investment floor by a significant amount, which is good. You know, making the end game more accessible is definitely something that I think is good. And here we have some screenshots of the equipment enchantment. So you can upgrade your equipment as we just saw. We have a few items here. 
you I, I'm not gonna go into details because it's a bit again it's a bit hard for me to understand and explain so we will see it when it's added in any demo in a more obvious way so I read a whole bunch of items from what I understand some of these items are obtained from uh, the new map either from dungeons uh, from the dungeon and I don't know <laughs> I honestly don't know it's a whole bunch of yapping important item here is gonna be the backup discs yeah the enhancement uh, the reinforcement backup discs which prevents items from destroying now, now we don't know if it can be destroyed at any level so there's a success chance failure or destruction exist and I'm gonna assume that the higher you go the higher the chance of it to fail or even destroy be destroyed and you can use the backup discs or the reinforcement backup discs which prevents from being destroyed but from what I've seen the only way to get this is from uh, the paid battle pass and I think it's also available in the data summons which is kind of unfortunate but I'm not sure I haven't looked at, this, at the data summons yet and either way this looks unnecessarily hard to get we don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not depending on what level it will be when it will be destroyed like if it gets destroyed at like even plus zero even getting from plus zero to plus one have a chance to be destroyed then that sucks or maybe it starts having a higher chance of getting destroyed at like plus seven or something we will see speaking of season pass here it is, you can see all the items that we can get. We get the reinforced material random box on all tiers, even the free side. Item required to upgrade your equipment from the free, sub free battle pass, which is good. And of course, additional ones from the paid ones, which is, again, also very good. Next, we have some insane changes to e rank Digimons. Starting off with Merciful Mode, he got a new skill effect on his F3, I think. I mean, looking at the damage, that's probably his F3. And it gives you 10% critical damage for 30 seconds after using F3 so it's kind of whatever buff it's cool but nothing too crazy the crazy part is that the yo rank Digimons are all getting passive skills and these passive skills will be uh, shown up in your tamer passive skill window so they are not taking additional slot because Digimons only have four skills and I think all of them already have the four skills so there's that and these passive skills are absolutely busted you rank Digimons are now in a whole another level. So Merciful Mode have a passive that when you do a normal attack, it has a 50% chance to proc and gives you 3% attack. Can stack up to 5 times, so basically can get up to 15% attack speed and only 50% activation chance. So and for 10 second duration, so you basically will have 100% uptime on this, assuming you can do a few hits. So Merciful Mode just gets 15% attack speed for no reason and of course you also have another passive which is always active gives you 15% critical rate so insane Miku mode gets a lot of attack I think 65 attack some of them have 50% chance to activate and 30% another one with 30% so basically the same one twice but different chances and different number but they again they can stack together so that's that's like 65% attack for no reason just like that for free and uh, superior mode is also getting uh, attack percent it's 50% attack percent because again why not and 30% defense so yeah just for 50% for severe mode 50% attack percent for free and crimson mode kind of got shafted a little bit it doesn't seem to have the best skills he get the best passive gets 10% skill damage which if you look at the dig buff that he have 10% skill damage is kind of nothing but he also gets a nice 15% critical chance yeah kind of crimson mode kind of got shafted he got the worst passive but seeing how the new maps are based on digimon adventure 02 and the final boss of this arc is chimeramon which is data don't sleep on him though even though he kind of got the bad passive he does he will have attribute advantage versus chimeramon so even though he got bad passives they probably know he's gonna be one of the best if not the best digimon in the game when kaiser's laboratory dungeon the new one i guess gets added because he is that yeah i will have that real advantage so yeah now this is disgusting I, I will say that i don't i don't like power creep i already talked about it and as if your ants were not strong enough now they are even more busted like what the heck why is bro getting 15 percent attack speed for no reason it is what it is i guess and we have some changes to the digital drop function which was added in kitty mall last week and this is something i'm very happy with this is huge this is the one part I complained about. The free digital draw have been changed to T digital draw. It still consumes 100 mega, but instead of giving you one item per day, it's gonna be 11 items per time twice a day. So yeah, you basically get 22 A or A plus evolutions item per day, which is good. I think this already solves the problem that I ha I I had with this digital draw. The fact that some of these basic evolutions are not gonna be available for like all new players like new players will struggle getting the a ranks but not anymore you get 22 items per day so 
basically less than a week, you probably have all of the evolutions that you will want. And I think this is not something I'm sure of. I think they also made it so the free items are not character bound anymore. So if that's the case, then it's even better. So this is good. I no longer have problems with the free digital draw or with the, with making this evolution behind random items because you get 11, you get 22 per day. So that's good. This is this is huge. And lastly, for the event, we have the AP event, and this time to have a hit rate seal. So that is literally it. So yeah, honestly, huge update. Unfortunately, we don't have the specific details on the equipment because these new equipments look so freaking busted. So I hope they are not hard to get. Because if that's the case, then that's honestly huge. Like, what is this thousand hit for nothing? That's uh, give me that. <laughs> so yeah, very excited for the update. Level 170. While I don't like the additional levels, it by default making older dungeons easier because again not anywhere in this patch note they mentioned that they increased the levels of the previous dungeons which means you can do them with me with your free tropolis plus digimon as long as you have decent investments so yeah this is huge really looking forward to this update in the demo with that thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe for more demo content i will see you guys in the next video